During this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can add scarcity to your sales pages or your other pages by using our countdown timer element. So here I am on a sales page right now. And let's say that I wanted to add a little bit of urgency to the sales page and a timer would be the perfect thing to add to this page. So I'm going to go over here to my elements and I'm going to go to the countdown element and I'm going to click and I'm going to drag this wherever I want my timer to appear. So I'm going to put it at the top here so that everyone can see it when they first appear on my website. Now, as we can see, it's kind of preloaded already with a date and time and 401 days from now, that's not really adding any urgency to my buyers. So I'm going to click on the timer here and I'm going to click on the gear symbol. And this is going to bring us up with some options on the right hand side. Now, the very first way we can edit this is going to be the setup. And here is where we need to enter the date and time for our timer. Now we can have an exact date or time. We can have an evergreen timer or we can have it cookie based. Now the difference between these are if you use an exact date and time, that means that this timer is going to count down to zero on that exact date and time that you set here. If we choose an evergreen and we set the time left, that means when someone sees this page, they're always going to see the exact same time that is left. So if I set this to, so if I set this to 15 minutes, for example, every time you refresh this page, it's going to restart with that same 15 minutes. So it kind of adds urgency to the visitor, even though you aren't technically shutting down the offer in that 15 minutes. And then the same thing for the cookie based. It's almost the same as an evergreen, except this time, if it's cookie based, if someone browses to your website and they see there's 15 minutes left and they come, that same person comes back in 20 minutes, it will say zero on the timer because it has that cookie on their web browser. Okay. But we like to use the exact date and time for when we do like week special launches or weekend launches or things like that where we are actually going to be closing down this offer. And the way we're going to do that is we're going to click inside of the date here and we're going to choose which day that we would like for this timer to end. So I can choose the 26th, for example. And then below here, we can choose the hour and the minute. So we can say at about 10 o'clock. And then we need to choose our time zone. There we go. And now we can see our timer has 22 hours left, 18 minutes, and it's going to end on November 26 at 10 a.m. OK, pretty cool, right? But now we kind of want to customize this and make it match our website because it doesn't really match our website right now. And it's kind of like hidden back there. So I'm going to go to the countdown setup. I'm going to go back here. Next up, we can go to the design. And from here, we have a few different options that you can use for your timer. We have the normal text, which is what you are seeing right now. We have the fancy text, which looks like that. We have a flat box. We also have a glossy box. And then we have a circular style that you can see there. Now, each one of these different styles, you can customize the colors, the font size, the shadow color, and really change the way you want it to look. Now on the normal text here, we can actually add text before the countdown timer and after the countdown timer, if you would like. So I could say, time left, something like that there. Again, we can change the font here to whatever kind of font we like to match our website. We can change the font color. We can change the font size to make sure it looks good on our sales page. It doesn't really overtake our headline. And we can change the shadow color of the text. And we have these same options no matter which style you choose. If we head over here to the fancy text, again, you have the font style, you have the font color, the size and the shadow color. The two different boxes that we have here, you do have an extra option to change the color of the background of the box and the border color. So for example, we could have our background be black. We could have a red border and down here for the border thickness, we need to add some pixels here so we can see what the border looks like, as you can see there. And then we can change our border style. We can have a solid line like that there. We can have a dashed line, a dotted line or a double line. And then we have our standard options for the font, the font color, the size, and the shadow color. Same thing for the glossy box, you have the same options. And for the circular, we have the font style, the font color, the size, and the shadow color. And if we head back here one more time, we have one more option, and it's called the expiry action. Now this is pretty big. This is pretty much what do you want to happen once your timer hits zero, okay? The first thing we can do is do nothing, and that means your website will still show the timer. It will just say zero across the board. 
You can hide the countdown timer. That means when the timer hits zero, it's going to disappear from your website. You can redirect to another URL and enter that URL here. So maybe when the timer hits zero, you want to redirect visitors to a page that says, sorry, you just missed out on our offer. You know, you can opt in here for more information or to stay up to date. So you can kind of redirect them away from your sales page or you can reveal hidden content. So this is a pretty cool feature that we have here on InstaBuilder. Once the timer hits zero, this box will appear. So you can put whatever you want inside of this box. And all you gotta do is come over here and drag and drop some elements. You can kind of drag them, drop them inside this box. And you can use this hidden box for whatever, some kind of last minute option or bonus that they can get if they purchase your product. Some kind of exclusive video or something like that. So that's a really cool feature that we have here. All right, and this is an element I would definitely add to your sales page to definitely add some scarcity to your sales page and really add that urgency to your visitors to purchase your product.